Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on February 16th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here, looking at our sun for the past 48 hours of imagery, brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, observing a one moderate x-class solar flare from the bottom right hand region right there and as well a couple m-class solar flares since last night's update having a look at the last 48 hours incoming this is the left side crusting pretty sizable eruption there on the back side of the sun and then outgoing here lots of plasma activity swirling around the surface and then watch on the right-hand side, outgoing sunspot region, producing a large X-class solar flare. We'll get a closer look at it here. Just some amazing images. Huge plasma shot and producing a coronal mass ejection, but not Earth-directed. But we are under instantly a level 3 radio blackout storm. Having a look at multi-spectrum, just another way to look at a light, point out the last 48 hours of events. And in the last view there, sunspot region, top left-hand side, crackling a little bit in the C-class range. Two coronal holes. Right now to talk about the two in the southern hemisphere, completely smashed and diminished Having a look at 171 angstroms here, this is where we can really see our heliosphere in action, our full sun's corona amongst the eight sunspot regions right now. Some amazing images and some amazing followers on this channel. Thank you so much for pressing play and as well hitting the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit all notifications so you do not miss an update. Current space weather conditions, right now we are under R3. Level 3, strong radio blackout impacts are expected. Loss of radio contact for about an hour on sunlit side of Earth. Solar winds are coming in at 397 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux just recently showing a M-class solar flare. So three minor sol uh, M-class solar flare and one X-class. Solar proton flux starting to rise again amongst those most recent activities on our sun. Having a look at the DRAP absorption map, showing the cosmic energy penetrating our magnetosphere. These are the regions where it was hardest hit. Long duration, M-class just recently. And boom, right over the Pacific Ocean. Having a look at the Space Weather Prediction Center Space weather spiral, minor activity grazing our planet 19th into the 20th. Little green circle is Earth. White circle is our sun, showing all of the cosmic energy leaving it. Iswa space prediction spiral, most recent CME taking off towards Venus. That's a few of them towards Venus the last few days. And that is from the X-class solar flare. Now let's have a look at Alaska 3, showing the cosmic energies leaving our sun. Wow, that's a big eruption, folks. And it was in an outgoing position. We'll get a closer look at it here. Just some amazing imagery. The plasma shot coming out of there. And watch for the little little squiggly line of plasma coming out as well in the last few images there. Wow, that's some amazing imagery. Now let's get to earthquakes the past 24 hours as we're up and over 300 kilometers, or sorry, up and over 300 earthquakes in a 24-hour period. Largest being the 5.2 here in Port Vila, Vanuatu, and our deepest being Huma, Tonga, 4.5 at 340 kilometer depth. South American plate, minor activity, 4.8 there towards uh, Kaya, Chile. 
as well Ecuador seeing a 4.0 in Dominican Republic a sizable earthquake there 4.1 and across the North American plate notable activity 3.6 Ontario California and as well 3.5 Brennan Washington Pacific Northwest seeing lots of seismicity as of late having a look at USGS we'll have a look at the 300 earthquakes that are being reported across this map 197 of them across California and into the Pacific Northwest minor activity west and northwest of Yellowstone increasing seismicity here at Hidden Valley Lake and no major swarms to talk about south of the Salton Sea, which is a good thing. Was a little bit worried as to uh, what's been going on with our planet recently. The multiple swarms that were moving northward. Quick look over Hawaii. They're only reporting 16 earthquakes. And then Alaska did have some increased seismicity throughout the region, reporting about 40 to 50. Carrying on here with the Walton. Noticeable activity here through off the coast of Japan, Izu Islands region. Pretty quiet through the Philippines plate compared to as of late. Other than that, not too much to talk about. Those are yesterday's earthquakes. Have a quick browse here at the last seven days for shakers around the world. And if you are new to this channel, thank you so much for joining the family in this amazing community on YouTube. It's all about awareness and preparedness. Hashtag no fear here. And much love, everybody. Thank you for watching. And please, if you don't want to miss an update, go to your notification bell and set notifications to all. Now let's have a look at our SO2 forecast brought to you by our active interrupting volcanoes around the world. And right now we have 42. Noticeable activity coming out of northern Chile and Peru and as well Mexico. Big plumes moving up into Quebec and as well Greenland. Northern Hemisphere is just inundated with SO2 right now. With all of the active volcanoes, not surprising. Now, somebody had mentioned yesterday in the comments of one of my videos saying that on an average, the Smithsonian is reporting 35 to 40 volcanoes. Yes, that is now. But literally two to three years ago, it was 25 to 30. So we're, we're we've still seeing an in an increase in the number of volcanoes and we're also seeing a substantial increase in the SO2 contents in our atmosphere. Now let's have a look at weather here brought to you by windy.com showing all the low pressure systems which do bring rain and as well wind. Got some big systems heading into the UK and Europe this week. Multiple lows so very wet windy and wild week ahead for Europe. Overlooking Southeast Asia, Africa, and Australia. Still have cyclone conditions developing east of Mauritius, Reunion Island, and as well, strong low pressure cell moving across the Northern Territory of Australia. Multiple systems affecting Australia in the long range and some pretty strong systems developing North Pacific as everything is set to change in the northern hemisphere as the polar vortex is truly breaking down and maybe setting up for a very cold outro to winter 2024. Overlooking North America, not too many systems affecting us until the long range here. Alberta Clippers, Colorado Lows, and as well a Nor'easter. And then some big systems, winter storm systems, heading across the Canadian prairies for the long range. Heads up and stay tuned. 
I also want to share here with you, looking at our upper level winds, depicting our polar vortex as it is changing dramatically, and so are the trade winds, equatorial winds. Just some amazing images right now. And I wish I could share with you every year that at this time, right back up until 2014 when they started showing, because these are some pretty dramatic changes right now that are unfolding. But if you've been paying attention with this channel, then you've seen the changes. And it's a little bit concerning. Not surprising, because I've been talking about it for five years on this channel, and I will continue to do so. Much love, everybody. I hope you enjoyed today's world update, keeping humanity aware and prepared. Much love. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.